Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight as we introduce the OLMA Preservation Coalition, a group of dedicated alumna, parents, and friends who have come together to ensure that Our Lady of Mercy Academy remains open and vital as a force for educating and empowering young women. Unfortunately, due to the freezing temperatures this evening, out of, out of an abundance of caution for all of you, we believed it's safest to hold this press conference virtually. Rest assured, plans are already in the works to bring us together in person very soon for a town hall meeting where we will be able to light up the night as we planned for this evening. As is tradition when starting events at Our Lady of Mercy, we would like to begin with a prayer. And I invite a true Mercy legend, class of 89 graduate, teacher, former coach, campus minister, and assistant principal, Sister Megan McArdle to lead us. Thank you. Good evening. As we gather tonight, let us remember the words of Catherine McCauley. We should be shining lamps, giving light to all around us. Please take a moment and remind yourself that you are in the presence of God who loves you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Loving God, we come together through our shared love of Our Lady of Mercy Academy. Help us discern what is truly essential and prioritize our efforts accordingly. Grant us the ability to work together harmoniously, pulling our diverse talents and perspectives towards a shared vision of saving mercy. We seek your divine inspiration for vision and innovation. Help us see beyond our present challenges and setbacks, embracing the promise of new beginnings. May this coalition serve as a catalyst for growth, igniting a spark of inspiration for all Mercy Girls, past, present, and future. May we live the words of Catherine McCauley who said, we can never say it is enough. We ask this through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Mercy, pray for us. Catherine McCauley, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Sister McCauley. <clears throat> Thank you, Sister Megan, for those beautiful words, and welcome all. My name is Jeanette Miller, class of 1994, and I am the coalition's president. The mission of the OLMA Preservation Coalition is focused, amicable, and clear to reestablish the financial viability of the school and allow it to continue its important work of educating young women. And joining me tonight in this commitment are my fellow officers, Dawn Cerrone, former athletic director and our vice president, and Lisbeth Finnerty, class of 1979 and our secretary. The OLMA Preservation Coalition was established in response to the January 9th announcement of the school's closure. We are committed to protecting Our Lady of Mercy Academy and preserving the legacy of the Brooklyn Sisters of Mercy who founded the school in 1928. For 95 years, Our Lady of Mercy Academy has provided quality education and fostered leadership, service, and Catholic faith among generations of young women. In just a day of launching a change.org petition, we reached over 5,000 supporters, and now that petition has nearly 7,800, and we're well on our way to 10,000. The response from supporters has been overwhelming, and we could not be more proud of everyone stepping up, coming forward, and their willingness to lend their time, treasure, and talent. We have heard stories from your time spent at Mercy, 
offers to provide funding and passionate appeals to act to preserve Mercy's great legacy. And we will share some of those inspir inspirational words with you now. <clears throat> from a few people who've written in over the time, from faculty and parents to students to alumna, the core message is clear. Our Lady of Mercy Academy experience changed their lives and is one worth preserving for future generations of girls. We heard from Mr. Anthony Fischetta, a beloved math teacher and math chair for 18 years. He shared with us, we are all connected to this very special academy that stands before you. Each of us knows that OLMA, OMA, is much more than a school. Yes, it has always provided the finest of education, but it became a second home for us. We made lifelong friends. We experienced love, support, care, compassion, kindness, and respect that touched our souls. Each and every day of my 18 years here at OMA, I felt it and I continue to feel it today. OMA changed who I was for the better. I am so very proud of our alumni, who they are, and all that they are achieving in their lives. From an alumna, Kristen G, via our change.org, who shared, words cannot capture what the academy means to me and how it formed who I am today. I would not be the social work warrior or foster adoptive mama without the lessons and the foundation I received at Mercy. Mercy was more than an education. It was a community, a home, and a sanctuary. And finally, from a current student enrolled at the academy, while Oma has brought me many blessings, the one I am most grateful for would be the community. I have met my best friends at this school. This community has allowed me to become involved in activities that I never thought I would be a part of or to meet new people that I would never have met before. And I will forever be changed by that fact. Thank you, Liz. And these stories and many more like them are what has motivated us each day. We know you have many questions and I will do my best to answer the ones we've heard most frequently. And myself and my fellow officers will be available to answer questions from the press via email at our email address, officers at olmapc.org. And again, that's officers at olmapc.org. So question number one, what efforts are currently being undertaken by the coalition and how much financial backing will be required? The coalition is prepared to present both a short-term strategic plan to the Sisters of Mercy to prevent the school closure, as well as a long-term comprehensive plan to ensure its continued success for the next 95 years and beyond with the money to support it in short order. As of January 18th, we have formally requested a sit down to ensure the plans we have crafted yield a proposal the sisters would be interested in entertaining. We are currently awaiting their response and are optimistic that they may be recept receptive to speaking with us. Regarding finances, as soon as we have the number, you will be the very first to know and rest assured it is at the top of our agenda. We will communicate it to you clearly along with a specific ask with knowledge of how it will be spent, as well as the plan for how we will successfully secure it. So keep your credit cards and checkbooks close by. <laughs> Question number two, how can I help? Well, first you are helping by joining our live stream tonight and showing your support. So thank you for continuing to show up for Mercy. But here are four more things that you can do right now. Number one, visit our website at olmapc.org and register to volunteer by clicking the Join Us button. Number two, sign our petition on change.org. We are approaching 7,800 supporters and are on track to reach 10,000. Be sure to, to sign and share. Number three, do you know donors, both large and small? Start pulling your lists together. And finally, number four, when the time comes, be prepared to donate. And just a side note about donations that are made on change.org. 
Donations made on that platform are to promote our petition on the platform only. Those funds are not being received by the coalition. So when it's time for you to donate, we will be reaching out to you from our website, olmapc.org. And finally, question number three, what's next? We know there are still many unanswered questions about how we ended up here, and we feel hurt just like you, and expect at some point there will be a full accounting. But that will not help us today. From today onward, there is only forward. As mentioned, a core group of volunteers are working to secure conversations with stakeholders and present a proposal. In the next week or so, you will all be invited to an in-person town hall meeting where we, we will be able to share additional information as it becomes available to us and to organize you into working committees. We will communicate date, time, and location details shortly on our website, through social media, and via emails from change.org and olmapc.org. In closing, I thank each and every one of you for your time tonight and for all of your outreach and support. It really has meant the most to all of us. Your responses have been truly overwhelming. I would also like to thank members of the press who are in attendance tonight for covering this important effort. Again, if you have any questions we've not managed to answer, please email, email us at officers at olmapc.org. And now I would like to turn it over to a woman you all know and love, our Vice President, Dawn Cerrone. Thank you. Mercy girls and mercy community, this is our moment of lift. In 1996, Our Lady of Mercy Academy and Karen Andreone, the legendary athletic director at, at the time, took a chance on a mother of three small children five, three, and six months old, and hired this woman as a varsity basketball coach. I will be forever grateful for that opportunity. My three children grew up at the academy. My two girls, Kara and Megan, Kara class of 2008 and Megan class of 2011, are proud alumna of the school. My son, who is the youngest, Sean, thought he was going to Our Lady of Mercy Academy. It was a very sad day when I had to explain to him that it was an all-girls school. Many tears were shed, but he did go on to Shamana. I always dreamed of returning to the academy once I finished my public school career as an athletic administrator, and that dream did come true in 2020. I wanted to become a part of a fabric of a school that was built upon the mission of Kathy McCauley and the Brooklyn Sisters of Mercy, an education that sent young women into the world to do incredible acts of service for others. That dream has been an incredible experience the past four years. As the athletic director at Our Lady of Mercy Academy, I've had the privilege and honor of watching young girls enter that facility every single day to start out as ninth graders and watch them flourish over their four-year career at the academy. Walking in as timid, shy, individuals and graduate as strong and confident young women. The Sisters of Mercy in Brooklyn epitomize the founder of their order, Catherine McCauley, and her commitment to the education of young women, and they rallied to build a school that was known as Our Lady Mercy Academy in 1928. This all-girls school educated thousands of young women. 95 years strong, this educational institution has sent highly educated, confident, brave female leaders into the world to continue the blueprint set forth by the Brooklyn Sisters of Mercy. They are the inspiration that we all need to focus on tonight and moving forward. They, the sacrifices that they made, the determination they had, and the vision that they never ever lost sight of. Tonight we gather inspired and motivated by the Sisters of Mercy Brooklyn as part of the Circle of Mercy to enthusiastically come together to find a way to perpetuate their work. There have always been these invisible tangibles that have made mercy great, that were hard to wrap our arms around. But through the recent efforts of this massive circle of mercy, I've discovered the true hardcore tangibles of an incredible Our Lady of Mercy Academy education. It was right before my very eyes the entire time. It's the amazing alumna that this school has produced that have gone out into this world and made an incredible difference. 
This group of young women, influenced by an incredible faculty and staff through all these years, based on the blueprint that goes way back to 1928, is the reason that we are who we are at Our Lady of Mercy Academy. We proudly bolster an alumni base with women in every profession available. I'm talking about highly successful women. I can attest to that based upon my interactions the past two weeks. It has been one of the most incredible teams I have ever been a part of. This group of women coming together in such a short period of time, unconditionally giving of their time and talent to perpetuate this education that the Sisters of Mercy Brooklyn started so long ago. It has been truly remarkable. What I can say now is game on. We need everyone to dial in. We need your support in so many ways, as Jeanette had mentioned previously. We have a petition that you can sign, that you can share, that you can spread with everyone that you know. Please share it forward. You can follow us on our Instagram account. Mercy Don't Quit. Mercy Girls Don't Quit. That is the Instagram account that you all need to break out your phones right now. You need to sign up and follow. I have 700 followers in less than a week. I expect by this Friday to have over 2,000 followers, and I know that Mercy Girls and Mercy Families can get this accomplished. This will help us get the positive word out of how important this school is to all of us. Lead with your heart, ladies. It's time for each of you to put on your rally caps. The Sisters of Mercy of Brooklyn never quit. Mercy Girls, don't quit. Let's go. Game on. Our time is now. Thank you for being here tonight. Please, dig deep. Give it all you got. Make sure you leave it on the court, leave it on the field, because we are never giving up. Because Mercy Girls don't quit. <laughs>